Okay. okay, what is the difference between a primary and secondary infection? It's a little harder. Secondary usually comes after your primary infection. It's in, what is it, opera? Oh, what you're so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the scariest thing for a microbe? I've said this a couple times. A healthy immune system. The immune system. Because remember I say, like, when you're little, you used to have nightmares of people coming, well, monsters coming up and eating you. But for microbes, it actually comes true, like, steps trying to eat them. So the immune system's terrify, terrifying for a bacteria. So what a primary infection, my favorite example for this is HIV and tuberculosis. Most people don't die of HIV. They die of tuberculosis. And why is that? Because the immune system is... Yeah, HIV can turn into AIDS, which is an immunodeficiency, right? And so tuberculosis is flowing by like, oh man, look at all these healthy people. And then it sees you, and your immune system is just wiped out. It's like, sweet. And it goes in there, takes over like no other. You die of the tuberculosis, which is a secondary infection or the opportunistic pathogen. Saw the opportunity, and it took it over. More commonly, opportunistic pathogens are characterized by your normal flora. So remember how I said your normal flora is good? It's only good when there's only a certain amount of it. Does that make sense? So if, I, if my immune system's weakened and it's not taking care of some bacteria in my gut that we're only supposed to have this amount of, it can start growing out of control and then make you sick. So it saw the opportunity because of a weakened immune system. Is that okay? Yeah, that's crazy. So would um, like C. diff be considered? I can't remember if that's a like normal flora, is it? I know I, a big one no, is enterococcus. I think so, because it's like after antibiotic therapy, and then. It might, yeah, I think it actually is. Another big one is enterococcus. Have you heard of those? Mm -hmm. If I write it down, I might recognize it. Does that look familiar at all? Enterococcus, okay, that was a shot. So those are normal flora in your body. If you are prescribed antibiotics for too long, they can take over and then you can get UTI infections. You can get like a whole list of things. But they're normal in your body, but when the body's immune system's weakened, it can take over. Or if you take too many antibiotics and kill off, like they could start like this. And they're, but they're good when there are only that many of them. And then once the other bacteria are dead, they're like, ooh, space, and then they become bad. Is that okay? Mm -hmm.